Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nigel Freenu here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a good old Ulta haul. So I've actually been, I actually made a couple purchases at Ulta, I would say maybe about three orders that I haven't used or spoken about because I was thinking that I was gonna haul them and I never got around to it. But today, I'm finally gonna get around to it, mostly because today, the day that I'm uploading this Sunday, March 14th, is the first day of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So when I was looking at the things that were gonna be on sale, I remembered, hey, I have a bunch of stuff that I bought that I haven't even used or spoken about, so maybe I should do a haul. So again, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Naisha, I'm a shopaholic, as you can tell from that intro and i love makeup i love shopping for makeup i love looking for bargains i love perusing the clearance aisles and the clearance page on ulta and sephora everything that i bought uh, i'll tell you up front has was either on sale or on clearance or there was some sort of coupon going on when i bought this i don't know all the prices off the top of my head so as i talk about the the item i'll put the information on the screen if any of them are still available or still on sale i'll try to link it down below if you want to check it out yourself yeah so also today i'm going to try to upload i'm going to upload 10 things that you should uh pick up in the sale 10 things that i recommend that you get in the sale so you can also check that out if you're interested in this look that I'm wearing, it is a look with all the products in my March Boxy Lux. I have a tutorial, a video on my Instagram. You can check it out. My Instagram is always linked down below. I use the Barbarella palette. And I'll talk a little bit more about it in my review at the end of the month. But this was the look that we came up with. If you want to see me use almost all of the products that came in this month's box, that video is on Instagram. But for now, if you want to see all the miscellaneous sale and clearance items that I bought at Ulta, please keep on watching. If you're hearing all the lovely chirping outside, because I have my windows open, because it is so nice outside. It's like 60 something degrees, almost 70 degrees. It is spring is almost here. One of my favorite seasons. So you'll hear the birds chirping, the trains going by. So try to ignore it if you can. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about that I picked up is the ColourPop Voulez Vous Ultra Glossy Lip Set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight glosses from ColourPop. I love me a lip gloss, a nude lip gloss. I'm definitely here for it. I recently got their, their Lux Lip Vault, one of the Lux Lip Vaults. And honestly, the formula was not my favorite. But I did get one of these um, glossy lips before and I really liked it. So when they had this set on sale, I believe this was 50% off and then I used another coupon on top of it. Uh, so it was a really, really good price. Again, all the prices will be on the screen. And I think it was, it's basically like a dollar, two dollars per lip gloss. So had to snap this up. It's in a beautiful package too. I'll probably eventually remove it from the package, but I think this is so cute and I might display this for a little while for the spring. I don't know. I also picked up the Mented Bronzer in Vacay. I used this bronzer in my full face of black owned beauty brands. I had a bunch of Mented lipsticks and lip liners before. It's my first time trying any of their powder products. And this is the bronzer. It is a nice, it's a beautiful bronzer on my skin tone. Nice, warm, looks like I had some sun, like I was on the beach or something. It's beautiful. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the cards or down below. Full face of black owned beauty brands. A lot of them uh, are available at Ulta as well. So I'll link that for you to check it out. But I really, really uh, like this bronzer. It's one of the few things out of the haul that I actually used. Also with that particular purchase, uh, they were having a sale where if you spent $25, you were getting the Kylie Sipping Pretty Palette for free. Yes, you heard me right. I bought the lip glosses and the bronzer and I got this Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty Palette. This was her birthday palette from not last year, I think it was the year before, her 21st birthday. $65 palette for free. It's, I haven't used Kylie eyeshadows in a while, so I really can't even remember the quality of like literally like four or five years. Um, but this palette got a lot of positive reviews 
I thought some of the colors in here seem a little bit repetitive, but that's okay. I like the neutrally and pinks with the pop of blue and then the sort of blue purpley shimmer. I really like the color story and you know this I think this is a, a good palette for some neutral as well as some colorful looks. So excited to actually try her formula. Like I said, I haven't tried it in about four or five years. So excited to try this out. If you want to see looks with this palette, let me know down below. But that was definitely a steal of a deal that I could not pass up. Uh, I also got some goodies. I got the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, a mini one. So with that purchase is if you spent, if you spent $20, you got the Kylie palette for free. If you spent 25 you also got these goodies so this is what i got so i got a mini uh monsieur lancome monsieur big mascara this is my favorite mascara love this mascara nothing has dethroned it yet and we also i also got the lancome advanced genifique youth activating smoothing eye cream and i know lancome skincare products are, are really expensive I got a little sample of this eye cream, this bougie eye cream. Let's see if it does anything for my under eyes. I don't have the most problems with my under eyes, but still, I definitely want to try it out and see if it really makes some sort of a difference for how expensive this is. And the other freebie, I got the, the perfect partner for your favorite mascara. It is my favorite mascara. The Lancome Seals Booster XL. So this is basically a white uh, lash primer. You put this on before you put the mascara on. And this actually works to help thicken up the lashes. When I'm wearing the Monsieur Big on my natural lashes, one of the few mascaras that helps my itty bitty lashes look like they're doing something. With this, especially on my lower lash line, it looks so full and gives it actually gives it some life. I also picked up this Eco Tools Total Perfecting Blender. It's a nice green blender and has an angle on the side. If you follow me on Instagram and you see I do the What's New at the Drugstore uh, series on my reels, uh, they came out with a biodegradable version of this it's purple and when you're done with it you can actually plant it and i thought that was really interesting and i did pick it up i have a full face of new at the drugstore um full face of new at the drugstore coming up really soon and i got that blender and i wanted to compare it to the original i've used this one before i really like it and i just really wanted to compare both of them to see if they're the same compared to the biodegradable one if it works the same and this one was on sale for like two dollars like two dollars and fifty cents so i was like perfect opportunity to pick it up i also got the coveted the internet breaking maybelline lash sensational sky high mascara in the blackest black i'm also going to do a video of uh tiktok viral makeup trying them all out and this is one of the products that i'm gonna try this has been sold out everywhere at the only one i've seen the brown one in like walgreens but for the most part this is sold out everywhere everyone is raving about this and you know i always talk about my, about my itty bitty lashes so let's see if this does something for my lashes if it does something for my lashes then it's really something another uh tiktok viral internet breaking uh product the nyx marshmallow primer i didn't buy this because i bought this before i think i found it that it was viral on tiktok um just the claims on this look really really interesting and they were have nyx was having a sale where it was basically buy two get one free sort of situation and then there was five times points on nyx so i bought uh, a couple things so I got the marshmallow primer that a lot of people, I've actually been hearing mixed reviews about this. It's supposed to be pore filling and you can use it alone or with your foundation. So I wanted to try this one out. And then I also got the NYX Honey Do Me Up primer. This one is a cult favorite. Uh, people are comparing this to, I think, a Guerlain primer. And it's supposed to be one of the first, this, if I remember, was one of the first uh, primers that was sticky that would grab onto your foundation. So I've always wanted to try this one out. So when they had that buy two or buy one, get one free situation, I figured I'd grab these two. And then again, another TikTok viral 
the NYX Shine Loud Lip Color. I got three of them, but for some reason I can't find the third one. It's somewhere around here. Probably one of my purses when I wore it. And I got another lighter nude color, this darker nude and this orangey corally color. So essentially, it's one side is a liquid lipstick and then the other side is a clear gloss that goes over it. Once the liquid lipstick dries down, you put the clear gloss over it. It is not, it is transfer proof. So you can get a shiny look without leaving it everywhere on your utensils on your boyfriend um which it was funny to me i'll probably talk more about this in that tiktok viral video but it's funny to me that people went so crazy over this when this sort of thing has been around for so long revlon covergirl all these other brands have done it before so i just thought i was really interesting so i bought a couple of them to try it out and i actually have a Revlon one that I can probably compare it to so if you want to see that comparison I'll probably do it on my Instagram let me know next thing I got which you can't see because of the lights is this uh, vanilla co dare hydration toner now I don't know if this was a mistake but at the time I made this purchase for some reason this was four dollars look at the size of this toner was this four fluid ounces I got uh, something from Vanilla & Co. in one of my glossy box. I think it's a Mr. Honey and Mrs. Flowers moisturizing cream. And it smelled so good. And I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this brand. So obviously when I saw this for $4, I was like, uh, I, think it was, I think it was a mistake. But I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to grab it. It's a beautiful pink plastic bottle. It looks like it's frosted glass, but it's actually plastic. And again, it's a lot of product. Next thing I got is the Smashbox Halo Cheek Palette. So I've seen this on sale all over the place. It's on sale on Sephora, on sale on Ulta, on sale at Nordstrom Rack. Smashbox things, like whenever they have these sort of collections, they go on sale pretty quickly um, after coming out. So it's this beautiful red plastic packaging. And then we have four cheek products. We have two blushes, which I think they might be, are they cream? Because they're in a little, they have their own little door. So they might be cream. And then we have two highlights, a sort of a coppery one and a pinky, more of a pinky one. These colors will look really, really nice on my skin tone. And I think this was, I paid $14 for it. So $14 for four cheek products from Smashbox. I thought it was an excellent price. Next, I got a couple of the Pure and Barbie collection. The entire collection was on sale. It's also on sale. Might still be on sale on the Pure site. So I got the palette, this beautiful textured pink packaging. Very Barbie. And then the inside, of course, it's pink leaning. I wouldn't call this a pink palette. It's mauve pink leaning with a pop of teal over here. Beautiful teal. Um, I don't mind pure eyeshadow. I like them for the most part. I usually don't have any issues. There's a lot of fallout, but it's really nice pigmentation and their shimmers are nice and soft. And their packaging is always so pretty. I have the first Barbie palette and now I have this one to add to my collection. Uh, by the time you're seeing this video, I will most likely have a look with either this or the Kylie palette up on my Instagram. So you can check it out. But I'm so excited to jump into this. And then I also got the cheek palette. You guys know I love blush. Love blush. Love me a, a cheek palette. So in here we have a collection of six different blushes. It has a mirror, nice sturdy pink texture packaging as well. Six. This one, look, they look a lot lighter than they actually are. But uh, six blushes. Love me a blush. They're more on the corally side. More leaning corally as opposed to pink. It's, the pants are a little slender. But I'll just have to use. I have a smaller blush blush brush that i can use with this so i don't mind it and uh pure their face products i also really enjoy so i have both of those and then i also got a couple things from jcat beauty so i picked up their foundation the skin insurance max coverage silky foundation in sunkissed so this is the foundation. I'm not sure if this was new, but it was the first time I saw it. I know they have a stick foundation that I usually see before and a powder foundation, which I have. And I have a bunch of Jacob Beauty things. I have never really tried Jacob Beauty products. So I wanted to try out their products. So I'm probably going to do a full face of Jacob Beauty sometime 
in the future because at this point I think I have everything and this I've heard good things about this foundation it's the standard one fluid ounce it has a pump and it looks like a decent color for me so excited to try this out and then lastly I also got the concealer so I got the stay assurance water sealed zero smudge concealer and I got it in the color sun kissed as well you know what I think I also have another one of these I picked up a lighter one of these and the problem was the color that's right next to this is so light and this one the one right after it is so dark but this one basically matches my skin tone so I have the lighter one and my plan is to mix both of them so I can get some sort of brightening under the eye if I can remember that was my logic in buying this so yeah I've heard really really good things about this concealer and the fact that it's water sealed and zero smudge really uh interested to try that out yeah so that's it i am sure i guarantee you there's some other things that i'm forgetting but these are the things that i can remember right now that's it that's everything that i hauled from ulta in my last i would say two or three orders i might actually order something today and the day that you're seeing this sunday again is the start of the 21 days of beauty not sure i don't have the information in front of me not sure if i'll be getting something today sunday i'll probably talk more about that in my 10 things that i recommend you pick up in the sale because i'll have the information in front of me at that point but for now i don't have it and that's it so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy hauls and thank you so much for watching all the way to the end please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video Bye.